why are you wired at night when you've got chronic fatigue syndrome? You know, it's like all day you're a zombie, and then all of a sudden around 7, 8, 9, 10, all of a sudden the party starts, and you feel energized, and it's the best time of the day. You know, I was inspired to do this video because a friend of mine online posted this question to a forum saying this was her experience, and does anyone else go through this? And not surprisingly, many people do. And I found that this is very typical for people with chronic fatigue syndrome. And it's something that I went through. And dealing with this issue was in large part the beginning of my recovery path. So I just want to tell you a little bit about what's going on if you're experiencing this where it's really hard, you're not functioning during the day, but at nighttime, you're finding energy returning. And basically, uh, cortisol levels are flipped. So in the morning, cortisol is supposed to be higher, and during the day it will taper off until the evening and then you can go to sleep. But what often happens with a CFS body is that your cortisol level is super low in the morning, and then it, it actually begins to raise in the evening when it's time for you to go to bed thus making it very difficult to sleep and disrupting sleep patterns. Um, this woman mentioned there are sometimes nights that she doesn't even sleep, and she calls them her white nights. And my heart really went out to this precious woman um, that I've grown to love online. She'll know who she is if she's watching this video. And um, so basically, I just want to share with you what I did in order to rectify the situation. And I did this all under the guidance of the Optimum Health Clinic. Uh, I think it's really important when you're looking at supplements and looking at doing things to support your body to have knowledgeable people, whether it's Optimum Health Clinic or some other naturopath or someone that can give you guidance and do the right tests. And so basically, what we did is I took an adrenal test to find out where my cortisol levels were. And sure enough, they were bottomed out in the morning. I mean, she was amazed. They were so low. But, you know, they are going to be typically with CFS. And you take the saliva test. This is one that I got on Amazon, and I will post a link below if you want to do it. The results are very easy to read. You can read them yourself, and you can also give them, have them email them to whoever you're working with. Um, but basically, I was bottomed out in the morning, and in the evening, I was finally getting, you know, to feel alive. And of course, then I wanted to stay up because. I had never had any energy other than that time. But it's really important to flip this back into normal uh, cortisol levels. And so there are a few different ways that you can do that. And I'm going to share with you the supplement that I was put on through Optum Health Clinic. But first, I want to say there were other things that I employed that were really important. Things like alternate nostril breathing. In the morning when I first woke up, I put I stayed in bed and I put music on my phone and I would alternate nose breathing um, for five to ten minutes and just relax because the reason is, you know, with CFS, our nervous systems are elevated in a state of fight or flight. And so it's running that cortisol. Like I would wake up sometimes in the middle of the night just like this and I could just feel that cortisol coursing through my body. And so what we want to do is begin to calm down our body's nervous system. And you can do that through things like alternate nostril breathing. It's very easy. And I was so debilitated that I didn't even switch nostrils. I would just breathe slowly through one nostril and that was easy to do. So other things included things like meditation to calm the body, self-hypnosis tracks, Glenn Harold, other ones that you can find that really help bring calm to the system. Brain retraining is, can be very effective for bringing calm to the nervous system. So these are all holistic approaches that you can use. Um, but you know, the, the bottom line is if you've had CFS and you've crashed, your body is going to need some support to rebuild some of these things that that high level of uh, nervous system has depleted. And so you may be able to do it just through nutrition and, di and diet. Um, for me, I opted to go with a supplement, but again, it's very important when you have CFS to do supplements in a certain way. And, and the way that is, is to start 
first of all, be tested for what you need and have guidance from a um, smart practitioner with CFS. And then the second thing is you start very slow. You don't do the typical dose. You start with like half or a quarter of whatever the normal dose is. Because again, when the body is in such an elevated uh, state, it's very reactive. So you want to make sure that you're taking a dosage that you won't react to and that's comfortable for you. And then you can, if you do well with it, you can continue to increase that dosage till you get to whatever that practitioner has recommended that you do. The supplement that I use is Dr. Wilson's uh, Adrenal Rebuilder. And let's see if I can do this. I will put a link below to the Amazon. I think this is about $45. Uh, for 90 of these and so anyway it this began to help me with my adrenals and it was what we did to reverse that cortisol so in the morning my cortisol levels became normalized and in the evening they were going down now this took a process of time and I still do periodic testing to make sure I'm in the right direction with that and um, so anyway, I'm really pleased with that product. It's a high quality product. I do not recommend that you go out and get that. I recommend that you get the testing, that you work with a practitioner, um, and then decide if you want to go with that supplement or with another one. Uh, I also want to mention it's very important with supplements to make sure that you're digesting properly. So I think I'll actually do another video on that about digestion because even though this was something that was critical to my recovery, the underlying issue is you want to make sure your digestion is working properly so you know that you're actually absorbing the supplements. Because if you're not, if your digestion is not working properly, then there is no point in loading and overloading a digestive system that's not working with supplements. So anyway, hope that helps, guys. I just want to see you having a calm evening. And again, there are many things that you can do holistically to do that. But in the meantime, get your test, check it out, find out where your cortisol levels are. I hope the information was useful for you. If it was, please give me a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that little bell so I can ring your bell the next time I put out a video. If you are looking for some fellowship with other people on the journey, be sure to check me out on Facebook with CFS Warriors Forum and also CFS Warriors page. So take care, Warriors, and remember, life's not over, it's starting again.